Jones, who started every game the last two years playing for the Chicago Bears, and you know people immediately jump on uh, their PC or Mac and they they Google you know J- Jones's PFF grade and they say, oh, he's mid or he sucks according to Pro Football Focus. But then you look at his stats, you know what he was able to accomplish, you know ten uh, TFLs and seventeen quarterback hurries. You know, it looks a little bit better than just the 49.3 PFF grade. Another guy who's entering the prime of his career, about the same size profiles, about the same size as Nichols, 6'3", 309. And they spent a little bit more money to get him at three years, $30 million. And both of these guys, Johnny, starting caliber defensive linemen, like when you don't hit or get the opportunity or you don't draft the Christian Wilkins or the Chris Joneses or the Aaron Donalds, uh, this is what you do. You collect a rotation of these guys who in the in the right scenario or on a, a given snap can beat their assignment and, and make a play. Can he just be solid? Can Bilal yeah. Nichols just be solid? Like I think Justin Jones has a chance to be a good player for Jonathan Gannon. I know that's going on on a limb. You're giving somebody $30 million over three years, but he is somebody unlike Bilal Nichols who can rush the passer. Like, Four and a half sacks last year with Eber flus. I think I think he's going to hit the over for that for John and Gannon and Nick Rollins. Yeah. Like if he and, if, if he just averages five sacks a season for John and the Gannon, it's a roaring effing success. Can you just be a solid player that once every two to three games gets after the quarterback, have yeah. some tackle for loss on Sunday, not be an embarrassment as a unit where the <laughs> Niners or the Seahawks or the Rams can line up in twelve personnel and ram it down your throat. That's what's been happening in the Arizona Cardinals. That's why, like, again, they are just a piece of the puzzle. This is not, hey, this guy needs to save us. Save us, J.J. Watt. Here's $100 he's million, mad. Dollars, right? He's mad. Bro, football focus <laughs> tells me he's mad. It's, Watch it's the a, tape, bro. It's yeah. a 53-man <laughs> roster. It, it, at the end of the day, like, I want them to sign notable players. Jo- Justin Jones, though, I watched the Chicago Bears last year. First of all, he was dominant against the Cardinals. Yeah. So that probably helped. He had a sack against Kyler Murray. The Cardinals could not run the ball effectively against Chicago. Like he jumped off the screen, and I think that helped. But it also is like these are players that are going to get you solid play and hopefully wa- buy you time to develop your stars in the NFL draft. <laughs> <laughs> 